Now, this is a really tricky one. What, I asked, has been the most explosive chapter in the history of Q Sports? You may think it involves some of our celebrity players, but do they agree? I mean, I, you'd have to think it's got something to do with the late great Alex Higgins. He, he was, everything was pretty explosive when he was around. Explosive. Remember, the clue is not in the question. <laughs> I mean, whenever you think of explosive in Snooky, you, your mind is, mind is drawn to the hurricane. The hurricane Higgins, yeah, yeah. Or Jimmy White. Elephants were a problem. Ivory. They were getting rid of, they were, we were getting, once they moved to the snooker world, they were, they were getting rid of elephants. But apparently three balls per tusk was all you could get, so it was okay for billiards. But when snooker. they went to snooker, I mean, like, and finding red elephants was difficult. Fifteen <laughs> of them. Obviously, uh, the 1985 final. I think it was 85. Dennis mentioned it. Yeah. Well, I have a few snooker managers that have deliberately set fire alarms off. <laughs> when their player has been playing an opponent that they wanted to disturb their sleep in the final of the World Championship. Funny enough, I've been in a few of those. Mmm, some very interesting ideas, gentlemen, but it does, in fact, have nothing to do with fallings out or fisticuffs or flailing or anything of that nature. The answer I'm seeking is, is, is a load of old balls. In fact, it's about the composition of some of the first billiard and snooker balls. Congratulations if you were on the right lines. Now, originally, and rather alarmingly, Billiard balls were most commonly made from ivory. Indeed, they had to be cut from the dead centre of an elephant's tusk. Dead, I'm afraid, is right. Each tusk only yielded three or four balls. Sadly, animal welfare was not very high on the agenda in the 18th and 19th centuries, and many, many elephants were killed just to allow snooker and billiards to be played. Then in the 1860s, a New York billiard table manufacturer offered a prize of a gigantic sum, $10,000, to come up with a replacement for ivory. The American chemist, John Wesley Hyatt, answered the call, and he produced solid nitrocellulose, which he patented, or patented, as celluloid, the world's first industrial plastic, and it was made for snooker. But it was volatile, highly flammable, uh, and it sometimes exploded during manufacture. And indeed, he recalled his experiments with billiard balls, writing, occasionally the violent contact of the balls would produce a mild explosion like a percussion gun cap. We had a letter from a billiard saloon proprietor in Colorado, he wrote, mentioning this and saying, when it had happened, that instantly every man in the room pulled out his gun. Yeah, but did they get kicks? Aside from the billiard balls, Hyatt's company also produced piano keys and false teeth in this wonderful substance. False teeth. Mm. It's about breathing fire. Eventually, celluloid was replaced, of course, and uh, these days, snooker balls are almost exclusively made from phenolic resin. So, Q-Sport is in a far, far safer place now than it was in the explosive 1860s. And one would like to believe that elephants were too, but as we know, sadly, poaching still goes on.